Yo, what's up, broskies? Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And today, for you guys, I got a W Destiny Rising video. And today, we're gonna look over the first actual rate of Destiny Rising. Yes, actual rate. I mean, I already dropped a video of a rate lag before. That was a pretty easy one. It was basically no real mechanics at all. It was just destroy captains, they drop rockets, and then with those rockets you destroy things, and then you progress uh, further in the encounter. And now we actually have the new rate dropped, and I mean, technically you can't call it new anymore. It's already been out since like three, uh, two, three, four days. Uh, basically though, I'm doing the video now because I was finally able to do the last encounter Izagis, I think yesterday or something. Uh, I mean, I just didn't have a fire team to do it with. You actually need a really good fire team to do the last encounter and I'm going to explain why later on. Uh, now I'm just going to explain you guys the encounters, how every encounter also work and I want to also say some things about it. Uh, first up, this is so nice. Like this raid experience the three encounters we had now are so good i hope they're gonna keep this up with every single new raid like or raid uh mechanic or six man activity this is perfectly and they should just add to it and of course every single time switch it up with what the encounters are like and you guys are also also gonna see that with each encounter it gets progressively more hard uh, i also want to mention that for some reason, this was on contest mode. I don't know why, but for some reason, the whole things were on contest mode. Uh, but they, yeah, they just put it us on the hard way instantly. You're gonna also see later that in the last encounter, this is, was pretty devastating for many people. And till now, I think only like 20 clears have been done. Uh, in the last encounter, but yeah, I'm gonna explain it in a sec. But yeah, what do you do in the first encounter? So basically in the first encounter, two servitors spawn on right and left side in the first stage, and basically you kill those servitors, these servitors drop each one buff, and if two players in a fire team can basically pick up that buff. And with those buff, as you can see, you can go to the big uh, door in the middle. Uh, but before you, the guys that have the buff can go through the door in the middle, uh, two players on your fire team need, that don't of course have the buff, need to step on a plate on the right side and left side at the same time to activate the bridge, what just happened now, and the people with the buff go over, and then the people with the buff need to go into a cage. Uh, basically, there are two cages, one on the left side, one on the right side, you guys can see that in a sec, and they just go inside, uh, kill a captain inside that's gonna drop a rocket, and then the big door in the middle, I mean, technically, you just need to kill one captain because one rocket is enough. But uh, basically, you kill a captain, and then with the rocket, you're going to destroy something in the middle on a big door. There are basically three destroy destroyable things. You just basically destroy those three things, and that's basically the first phase done. And then you just need to repeat that two more times. Uh, basically, in the end, you have your whole fire team in on your side, and then the counter just ends if you shoot the last three rockets on that door that you guys just saw. So yeah, basically, what would happen now is the people that just went up stay up, they just clear ads. Then on the bottom, servitors spawn again, two people kill them, two people get buffs, two people uh, stand on the pillars, uh, the two people with the buffs go up, then uh, just destroy the captains and then destroy the things on the big door again. And then on the last phase, basically, of course, I mean, you have only two people down now, so how do you gonna get the... Uh, bridge open or the bridge that they can go up uh, they basically on our side on the top side as you guys can see uh, there are also two pillars on that side so basically the people that are upstairs just two go on each side on a pillar and then that opens up the uh, bridge as well and then the two people with the last two buffs on the bottom just go also up get the captains and then destroy the door. Basically, three phases of the same thing, really simple. I mean, it, you need to understand it first to get it going, but I mean, that's definitely the easiest encounter from all three encounters, and I think they did a really good job to just showcase, okay, to new people, of course. I mean, they're gonna be many new people that have never played Destiny before, that they need to understand something first, and gonna have this first raid experience with that, with that one encounter. So that's why I also like that they made it more simplistic, but also not too easy, and that people just have to work together that they know okay this is what a rate is like six man activity i need to work together i really love it what they did here and yeah we're just gonna go to the next encounter because the next counter already is something more challenging and yeah let's get right into it 
Second account that has a lot to do with puzzles. So as you can see right now on the screen, there are two symbols, not just one, two symbols. There is this outline circle and then this and in the middle. So basically what you would do here is just an example that shows you would need to press the and symbol on one of the PCs and the circle symbol on one of the PCs. Uh, this basically just follows out through the whole encounter. Uh, and yeah, what's gonna happen now is that everybody gets two, I mean not everybody, just two players get two of these EMPs, synthesizers or whatever this is, uh, basically just grab them, then put them into the console right here, and basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna start the real encounter, and then there is a lot to explain now, so bear with me, but that's basically what's gonna happen is that they're gonna open up these teleporters. As you can see, I go inside, and what I personally need to do is in there, of course, is to survive, but kill the servitor right there. I always ult this guy, uh, kill him, and then that's gonna spawn a symbol in the front screen. Then I see two symbols. Okay, what do I have here? We don't need to look real quick. I have circle, and then this other symbol right here. So I go to the PCs behind me, there are four PCs, and then just just find the two symbols that I just see in the front screen and then put the basically the puzzle in and then after I've done that the uh, screen goes green and then that's basically my part done. The people on the outside are going to have to do a similar thing because the four remaining players of your fire team are going to have to kill two powerful combatants. It's a little bit more harder than the people that what they have to do on the inside. But yeah, it's basically the same thing. They kill those two powerful combatants. Then they need to do two puzzles that are basically the same thing that I just explained. Or two symbols into one on the big screen. And they just need to find the two symbols on the four PCs. The right symbols, of course. Need to activate them. And that's basically it. They need to do this uh, on two quizzes. And yeah, basically four puzzles. And if all of all those pus uh, four puzzles are correctly done, uh, that triggers the game to teleport the people from the outside to the inside. So basically two go uh, to one room, the other two go to the other room. And basically they're going to be three from your fire team in one room and three from the fire team on the other room. Then you have to shoot those things after you destroy it or basically kill the captains and get a rocket. You need to destroy those things, get the EMP relic from the middle, and then you need to traverse with your teammates through this encounter. Basically what you do here, you pick up the relic, it's gonna spawn an EMP field around us, what we already saw a couple times, and then you need to traverse through these electric fields where you can only go through with the relic, and then yeah, basically your fire team, basically the people who haven't gotten the relic just shoot the enemies here, it's important to shoot the eyes because the eyes can detain you and delay the encounter even more. So yeah, you just traverse through the encounter, then you need to kill a powerful combatant, after the powerful combatant they spawn two captains, you just need to kill one of the captains, then grab the rocket Announcer, destroy two things to traverse through the main gate. Traverse through the main gate, make sure that your uh, fire team members are with you or whoever holds the relic, that make sure that everybody goes through the relic with them because there are another electric fields. And then basically, you teleport into the, back to the main room. And then, basically, what we saw in the beginning, you just bunk or uh, dunk basically the EMP relics into this PC mechanic or whatever that is. So, yeah. That's basically the whole encounter. You just need to do that one more time. Whole thing again. Two people go into the main PC rooms, do the puzzle. The people from the outside do the puzzle. Then uh, people get teleported. Then they just grab the relic, go through the encounter, and then just basically uh, teleport, go to the main room again, and then bunk those two MP EMPs. That's basically it. You need to do this two times. And yeah, it sounds pretty like relatively easy on paper but it has to do a lot of team coordination and also the fact is that in Destiny Rising a lot of people that haven't have never played Destiny before so they are new to these all these uh, mechanics and all these complexity in those raid encounters but yeah overall I really like the encounter it's definitely a huge step up from the first encounter and just makes it more how like basically what mobile is able to do like they can do such an insane stuff in this if this encounter is already possible and then we're gonna also go to the last encounter in a sec and this last encounter is gonna blow your guys mind like it's crazy what they have done i'm really really surprised and absolutely glad that such an encounter is already in mobile and just is so much fun to complete but yeah we're gonna go right into the next encounter before we start with this encounter, I need to drop a little bit of lore about this encounter. This encounter was not beaten within like 14, it took 14 hours to beat this. Or like for the first fire team to beat this. This took really long because for some reason it is contest mode, which makes it a lot harder. And for some reason you only have two damage phases, so there were, <laughs> it was an insane damage check for 
every single fire team that was able to get this far uh, to be able to actually uh, like try this encounter and yeah i mean if this would be a tree phase this would be definitely beaten by uh, like a fire team sooner but because this was only a two phase yeah it was almost impossible but a fire team did it and also found basically the current meta right now and that is running tree uh estellas estella basically has an ultimate uh and that does insane damage i mean it just pops out a dragon that does like insane damage and you don't even need to do anything you just need to press your ultimate i mean it's crazy if you do the buffs right and basically you just tree estella it and then just can you can basically one face it you guys gonna also see we just one face it in this run so yeah, what do you do in this encounter? Basically, you drop down, you're going to see a huge uh, boss area, and then on right and left side, you guys already started, uh, where special shield combatants, you need to destroy that. For example, with my machine gun, I need to destroy that one ball on top of it, and then basically, uh, with that ball destroyed, it's going to destroy the shields, and then we just destroy those combatants, and then basically the boss goes on... Uh, the back sides first on the uh, back left side and then, then jumps to the back right side basically what you need to do here is that uh, to captain spawn you need to destroy those captains get the rocket launchers from those captains and then destroy the two energy crystals on left and right and basically you do that two times he's gonna jump to the left first and then jump to the right and then after you've done that uh, you basically see that the boss is gonna go to the middle again where he was originally and then after that on the right side first and also on the left side i mean not first but yeah basically on the both sides at the same time it's gonna spawn a shield combatant again it's a servitor with a shield you need to destroy the shield with a machine gun that's probably the best way and then you just destroy that servitor and then after as soon as you destroy the servitor the teleporter on the right and left side is gonna open of course only if you destroy that side's servitors and then yeah then it's then the teleporter is gonna oh teleporter is gonna open then one person goes into the teleporter in the teleporter is gonna be a servitor that person destroys that servitor and after that uh i mean you could but technically there's a way where you can look to the other side because because yeah there's two teleporters so basically two sides and then if you destroy the servitor faster you can look on the other side and help your teammate that also got teleported to kill that servitor but yeah basically if the servitors are dead uh, the big screen in the middle is gonna show where the weak spot of the boss is or the weak spot that the outside and uh, outside teammates need to shoot so basically you just call left claw right claw back left cheek back right cheek yeah but that's basically the calls uh, if you go to the second face for example is gonna be the legs then it's gonna be middle leg back uh, back far left leg uh, close left leg back uh, like back right leg middle right leg uh, close right leg basically these are all the calls you need to do uh, i would also advise if you try this to always do it from the perspective of you're looking at the boss because for some reason uh the game tells you that the left claw that you physically see is the right claw because the game takes this perspective of the boss not just perspective of the players but i can't a little bit bad maybe i can convince him to change this technically it's right but i mean i mean you see the picture from your perspective and all the people outside also see the boss from their perspective so it just makes a lot of sense to just call it that way that's left claw if you see the left claw from your perspective that's basically what we did and normally right now everybody does but yeah as you can see they destroyed the uh weak spots and then after if you destroy the two weak spots that's gonna start damage phase as you guys can see i'm gonna pop out my dragon we're gonna pop three dragons then basically just start famous damage phase and you guys can see the fucking boss health depletes like nothing i mean this is nothing like how it was when the raid uh the, like came out but yeah, this is like two days after everybody finding out the meta and just we just using it. I mean, we cleared this, I think, in, was it four minutes or six minutes? Like, we got second world record time. So yeah, I mean, crazy stuff. Also got risk on here, really nice. But yeah, that's basically it. This boss encounter is definitely the most coolest encounter from all three encounters. Of course, the run you guys see right now seems like it was pretty easy, but it is definitely not easy. You need a complete fire team. They all need to be in the VC together to heal the weak spot calls. They all need to coordinate together. And yeah, that's basically what a raid is like and how also a raid encounter should be. Huge W to the dev team. I also shooted, shooted them a message that I was gladly surprised how well made this raid is or the raid encounters are 
And yeah, I'm just waiting for future stuff to be like this as well. Also, there are a lot of other like like activities right now that are like higher in difficulty for, for example the expanse like i dropped the two hour videos how i cleared like just 10 level levels of expanse and how hard it was for me to clear that death revising has such good end game activities has so many small quality of life stuff that is just so interesting to have and seen in the destiny franchise but yeah, definitely, Bungie, if you see this, uh, I mean, I'm, of course, a mobile content creator, so I have nothing to do with Destiny 2 or Destiny 1. But trust me, I've been playing Destiny franchise for life now, and I can definitely say this also for everybody else. Uh, just look what Destiny Rising is doing, what works well, and then implement it into Destiny 2. It is just the best of everything. You, get, you can just test out things on Destiny Rising, and if it works, then just implement it into the main game. Of course... Again, this is just developed by NetEase Games, but I mean, it is licensed from Bungie. NetEase, NetEase Games has licensed this game or Mitch, and Bungie still owns everything, so of course they can just implement ideas from Destiny Rising into the main game. Of course, hopefully it's not Dross, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, basically, me as a content creator, I can definitely say this is definitely the best mobile game I've ever played. I have played mobile games since multiple years now. I've played every session as well mobile, all of these games, and I can definitely say Destiny Rising is by far without being biased, the best mobile game I've played with the content and everything that is available. I mean, I'm finding like new things out every single day and this is just an alpha. I still can't believe this is an alpha. So good, man. So good. But yeah, I want to stop the video now. We not, don't want to make it <laughs> any longer anymore. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, Broski. If you don't want to miss any future Destiny content, there are going to be almost videos every single day about Destiny Rising and also maybe Valorant Mobile pretty soon if Valorant Mobile beta is going to pack up again. But yeah, love every single one of you guys and see ya.